Hello friend. So today's topic of discussion is capacitor. Capacitor is one of the most important component in electrical sector. And hence today we are going to discuss the capacitor and various aspects, basic concepts related to capacitor. After understanding content in this video, learner will be able to define capacitance and state its equation, define dielectric strength, and will be able to solve examples based on series and parallel connection of capacitor. Now, we are using capacitors for various applications, but one of the basic application of capacitor is to store the charge. So as shown in figure, you can see there are various size and types of capacitor that we are using. But every capacitor consists of two metallic plates between which there is a dielectric medium which stores the charge. Capacitors are used in filters and in major applications, the capacitors are used for power factor correction. Every electronic circuit consists of capacitors. So now let's understand different types of capacitors. As per the dielectric media which we are using to store the electric charge, there are electrolytic capacitors, mica capacitor, paper capacitor, film capacitor, non-polarized capacitor and ceramic capacitor. As shown in this figure, film capacitor looks like this, ceramic capacitor which we will see while performing small experiments, electrolytic capacitor as shown, non-polarized, paper and mica. So the type of capacitor changes as we change the type of dielectric medium which we are using between the two plates of capacitor. Now, capacitance is the measure of ability of capacitor to store charge. Keep in mind, capacitance is measure of ability of capacitor to store charge. The capacitance is mathematically given as ratio of charge to the voltage. So now, if we are having Q as a charge in coulombs and V is a voltage between plates, then C is equal to Q by V is equation of capacitance. Now let's suppose we are having a capacitor as shown in figure which is having two conductive plates of area A and the plates are displaced by distance D. This distance D covers the dielectric medium which is shown in blue color. Now mathematically if we derive the equation then capacitance equation comes to be C is equal to epsilon A by D where Epsilon is permittivity, which is combination of Epsilon 0 and Epsilon R. Now, I hope all of you know, permittivity is the ability of electric medium to carry or to allow flow of electric charge. Also, Epsilon R here is relative permittivity. It varies as per dielectric medium. The unit of capacitance is Farad. So, on this we have obtained there are two possible equation of capacitance one is c is equal to q by v that is the ratio of charge to the voltage and other is c is equal to epsilon 0 epsilon r a by d so in second equation we are taking into consideration physical parameters of capacitor so we can say that capacitance of a capacitor is directly proportional to area of plates and is inversely proportional to distance between the plates so if we want to have more capacitance, we can increase the area of plates and we can reduce the distance between plates. The unit of capacitance is Farad. Now let's understand what is dielectric strength. The dielectric strength is maximum voltage that can be applied to a given material without causing it to break down. Means suppose you are having a capacitor and there are two plates of capacitor. Across that you are applying high amount of voltage. So a point may come wherein the dielectric medium will break the break its withstanding capacity of voltage will break and two plates will get short circuited. So the dielectric strength is measure of ability of a dielectric material that how much amount of voltage it can bear across it. So unit of dielectric strength is volt per meter as you can see but mostly we follow unit of kilovolt per mm because capacitors are small in size 
the distance between the plates is in millimeters for small general purpose capacitors so generally we use this formula for measurement of dielectric strength that is kilovolt per mm now here you can see list of the dielectric strength and for respective materials now here these all are on left hand side this all we can use as dielectric media okay so if you see air air is having dielectric strength of 3 megavolt per meter okay whereas perfect vacuum if you see is having highest dielectric strength as that of 1 into 10 to the power 12 megavolt per meter so to revise again dielectric strength is the strength of dielectric at how much amount of voltage it can bear across it now going to the next slide let's understand very simple and basic series and parallel combination of capacitors as we already know series and parallel combination of resistors in similar way we will understand series and parallel combination of capacitors now as shown in the figure on left hand side we are having two capacitors c1 and c2 connected in parallel across source of voltage b now as these capacitors are connected in parallel the charge will get divided and hence total charge q will get divided as q1 and q2 so in case of parallel connection of capacitors total capacitance gets added that is c is equal to c1 plus c2 whereas voltage across every capacitor remains constant so what gets divided is the charge and what remains constant is the voltage if you are having parallel combination of capacitors now coming to series combination of capacitors as you can see in figure on the right hand side we are having two capacitors c1 and c2 connected in series across a source of voltage so total voltage V will get divided across each and every capacitor. So total voltage V will be equal to V1 plus V2. And further, if we derive, we will get equivalent capacitance 1 upon C is equal to 1 upon C1 plus 1 upon C2. That is, C is equal to C1, C2 divided by C1 plus C2. So here, charge on every capacitor remains constant. As we are having series combination, current doesn't get divided. And hence, charge doesn't get divided. Charge on every capacitor remains constant. Voltage gets divided. So, Q is constant and V gets divided. So, this is our basic of series and parallel combination of capacitor remains. Now, this is completely opposite to series and parallel combination of resistors. For resistors, if two resistors are connected in series, we directly add them. Whereas, if we are having two capacitors connected in series, it is C1, C2 divided by C1 plus C2. So, whatever is combination of resistors for capacitors is completely opposite. Now, let's move on to the next slide. Let's solve an example. We are having very simple numerical in front of us. Suppose we are having two capacitors, 30 microfarad and 60 microfarad capacitors connected in series across a source of voltage 100 volt. Then it is asked to calculate capacitance, equivalent capacitance, total charge and voltage across each capacitor. Now jumping back to basics, if we are having two capacitors in series as shown in figure, we are having two capacitors connected in series. So voltage will get divided, charge Q will remain same. So equivalent capacitance can be given as C is equal to C1, C2 divided by C1 plus C2. Therefore, total capacitance if you calculate, it will turn out to be 20 microfarad. Second, now in order to calculate total charge, we know C is equal to Q by V. That means Q is equal to Cv. By using this basic formula, we can calculate total charge. It turns out to be 2 millicoulomb. Now in order to calculate total voltage across capacitor 1, Again, coming back to basic formula, C is equal to Q by V. That means V is equal to Q by C. So now we are we have already calculated the total charge here, 2 millicoulomb. 2 millicoulomb divided by capacitor C1 capacitance. So you will get voltage of 66.67 volts. And same applied to the capacitor 2, you will get voltage of 33.33 volts. So here, as applied voltage across these two capacitors is 100 volt, if we add the V1 plus V2, again you will get same voltage that is 100 volt this is what is series combination now same if we same numerical is for solved for parallel combination here similar two capacitors are connected in parallel and it is asked to calculate equivalent capacitance total charge and charge store in each capacitor now when we want to calculate equivalence capacitance for parallel combination we directly add the capacitors so c is equal to c1 plus c2 directly we can write so 30 plus 60 is 90 90 microfarad and further if we want to calculate total charge, then charge Q is equal to C into V. 
So total capacitance is 90 microfarad multiplied by 100 volts. So we will get 9 millicoulomb here as you can see 9 millicoulomb. Further, if we want to calculate charge stored in capacitor C1, uh, Q1 will be equal to C1 into V. So as we know C1 is 30 microfarad, 30 microfarad divided by 100 volts turns out to be 3 millicoulomb. Similarly, for capacitor 2, we will get charge as C2 into V and hence it will be 6 millicoulomb. Again, if you add 6 millicoulomb and 3 millicoulomb, it turns out to be 9 millicoulomb. And hence, charge in case of parallel capacitors, parallel connected capacitors, charge gets divided. I hope these two examples are clarifying all the basic concepts of yours. Now, let's sum up this lecture by doing an activity. Note down this numerical in your notebook and solve this by applying series and parallel concepts of capacitors. Example is very easy. Let's read it out. 180 microfarad, 60 microfarad, and 90 microfarad capacitors are connected in parallel across a voltage of 300 volt. Calculate equivalent capacitance. That means combination of the three. Calculate total charge and third charge stored in each capacitor. Further, if the same capacitors are connected in series across 300 volt, calculate voltage across each capacitor. So this numerical is very easy. This is combination of series and parallel. So you can take a reference of previously solved numericals and you can sum up the activity. So till now we have discussed again I am revising quickly. We have discussed that capacitors are of different type. Majorly capacitor is used to store charge but further it is used in various electronic devices and components may it be inside a filter, may it be to, for voltage balancing, may it be for power factor connection. So various types of capacitors are there which are used for various purposes. Further we understood what is capacitance. So capacitance is measure of ability of capacitor to store a charge which is given as C is equal to Q by V or C is equal to epsilon A by D. Its unit is farad. Then we understood dielectric strength. Dielectric strength is maximum voltage that can be applied to a given material without causing it to break down. Its unit is kilovolt per mm. Further we understood series and parallel combination of capacitors wherein we understood if two capacitors are connected in parallel then we directly add it to get equivalent and if they are connected in series then we can write C is equal to C1 C2 divided by C1 plus C2 and then we solve two numericals based on series and parallel and this is what is learning by doing activity that you need to do as a homework for practice. So I hope all the concepts of yours have understood. I would like to thank for uh, sparing your time and watching this video completely. Share this video with your friends. You can also connect with, get, uh, get connected with me on uh, Instagram, Facebook or even you can text me or call me on the given number.